<clears throat> we are reviewing learning target 1.2, which states that I know that the atom is the smallest unit of matter and that it's composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So all matter in the universe, so pretty much everything that we consider stuff, um, is made up of atoms. They're kind of like the building blocks of anything that you can touch or see. This particular model of an atom, uh, this is a carbon atom, has a couple things that we need to start looking at. Okay, um, so we're trying to figure out where the protons, where the neutrons, and where the electrons live in this atom. So they all kind of stay in certain areas of the atom. The first area I want to talk about is the middle. We call that the nucleus of the atom. Okay, in the nucleus, only two things live. Protons and neutrons. They both live in the nucleus. Okay? They both live in the nucleus and the amount of protons that are in an atom determine what we call that atom. So in this specific picture we have six protons. And because we have six protons we can look up at the periodic table and we see that the atom that has a atomic number of six is carbon, so therefore this is a carbon atom. This atom also has six neutrons, which are the red circles, which is indicated by the key down at the lower right, and they also live in the nucleus, and they have six of them. So in the nucleus there's a total of 12 subatomic particles, six protons, six neutrons. On the outside, we have these green circles. They have little negative signs in them. They are electrons. The negative sign represents a negative charge. They live in what we call the electron cloud. Okay? The electron cloud is the area around the outside of the nucleus and that's where the electrons live. It's kind of this huge area and at any given point an electron can be somewhere in that area. It is much 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 bigger than the nucleus but it's very it's much less dense than, nu than the nucleus. The nucle nucleus is very very dense and the electron cloud is like big time open space. There's electrons just floating around out there and we don't really know where they are we just know that they're out there somewhere. In this model you can see that they're floating around in circles. It's easier to think of them rotate or uh, revolving around the nucleus in circles. So that's how we think about it, at least in this this type of model. For our individual example, uh, I would like you to draw an atom that has two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. Then I would like you to um, label the nucleus, the electron cloud, protons neutrons and electrons. So you can be you can use the, what we just talked about and do this example. Pause the video and then uh, resume the video when you're done and see if yours looks like mine. Okay, so I've drawn my model, but I haven't labeled it yet. So if you want to follow along with me labeling it, it'll make it a little bit easier. So let me start with the blue circle that has a negative sign in it. That is an electron. The red circle that has the plus in it is a proton. It lives in the nucleus, which I will label later. And then the last circle that I have, which is just a regular black circle with nothing in it, is a neutron. And I have nothing written inside of there because a neutron has no charge. So I've already used the word uh, neutron, proton, and electron in my key. I still need to use nucleus and electron cloud, so I need to label those things. So I'm going to have an arrow pointing in to the nucleus, and I'll label it. And I know that's the nucleus because that's the inner more dense area of the atom. So let me cross that off my list. The last one is the electron cloud. 
the electron cloud is the outer shell of my picture. So it's this circular area on the outside that has the two electrons floating around on it. And that's the electron cloud. So I can now cross that out. So this picture of an atom is a very, um, one of the smaller atoms on the periodic table. This would be considered an, a helium atom, H-E. And I know that because it has two protons. Okay, it's actually a neutral helium atom, helium-4.